Alright, that looks good. Hey everyone, welcome back. Sorry for the lack of content. I've actually, I've had, um, between the really awkward travel, awkward. whoa, <laughs> <laughs> technical issues here. He's new, but he, he'll be fine. I, I imagine big things. Uh, but uh, basically, um, with the awkward travel, um, I haven't been really able to um, like stream much. And then also with the really shitty, um, uh, the really shitty um, timing in terms of like the con itself. I mean, we've been so busy just going to the con. I, I've been recording stuff, and I'm gonna put it together for a video. But one thing I did, I picked up tons of food, both the con and one or two things, mostly liquids outside of the con. And you guys, who should introduce yourselves? You first, that matter. Oh, um, hi, I'm Ashley. And you good sir? I'm Steve! He's Steve. Um, you uh, have tried some of these, right? Uh, yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Most of these uh, I have tried, but some of these I've never tried these particular flavors. And you've tried everything but Except the, the Kit Kats and the sake. All right. Kit now we it's have a it's lot like of now we have a lot of uh, different stuff we're going to be trying here, but most of it is going to be Kit Kats, and um, we are also I, I'm going to try this uh, beer. I'm going to leave that until later. And as some of you might know, my my endless war with Monster Energy Drink goes on, but mm -hmm. all these are going to happen here. Also, we're just going to chat to you. Hi to everyone in the chat. Uh, what up? Who's in the chat hey. there? A metal monkey and rotten pimple. Hey, two regulars. Hey, big guys. I hope the metal monkey, I hope the fort's um, staying up. That's Chris, by the way. Oh, wow. Um, wow. Yeah, he's, he's the other hand. Uh, monster again. I will find one that I will like or I will die trying. He's going to sip. He's going to sip. He's going to sip. He's going to sip. Also, if you see occasionally you're moving, the table's a little wonky. It is a wonky table. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll do our best. Okay, so what should we start with? Oh, you know what? I think let's start Let's start slow. Let's have you some have some of these, uh, these gummy candies. Okay, gummy candies it is. Yes. Which one would you like first? <laughs> you will die. I saw that. <laughs> you know, uh, the way you are is... Oh, either one's fine. Okay. Um, yeah. There's a... For real? No. Oh. Here, you do it. You're yeah, better at this stuff than I am. There's a place to try it. Okay, so you have had these before? Yes. These They're particular good. ones as well? Yes. Okay. Lychees are always good. I don't think I've tried anything lychee at all, except maybe as a, a, a sauce or something. I don't know. Uh, they're a fruit. So maybe it was like a, a puree or some shit. Like that. Okay. Um, they, they sell them in like little like oh, gel cups. Let's put them, let's put it open for the screen. Mm -hmm. So this is the first one. We're trying. How's that looking on screen? Cool, a bullet. All right. So let's open this up. Yeah, these things are, are often like little gel cups and like Asian food markets and stuff like that. Yeah, I've seen them for sale before. I've seen people have them. They look almost Super like good. gummy, uh, almost like a gummy, normal gummy, but. Yep. All right. Smell it. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Good, right? It's like a white grape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you can get these really cheap. Um, like sweets in like a lot of stores mm -hmm. uh, and they're like gummies but they're not they're not like um they're not like uh really really like uh made well-made gummies so they're just almost like see-through they're that light and they have that texture but the thing is i've always liked them mm. Mm. um so yeah that's pretty cool yeah. someone just said hi uh that is Kristen cowell i think that's the person i invited to the stream oh yeah oh. Hey, uh, yeah thanks for the sub by the way is that was the first same person? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Did Ashley have long blonde hair? Yeah. You did once, didn't you? Yes, yeah. I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was uh, also tied into her con last year. And by the way, uh, while the con video is, of course, coming, um, you have to remember um, uh, it's all going to be edited up. But I will say this we had a great time. We drank so fucking much, <laughs> especially me. But what else is fucking new? Um, wow. Okay. Of course. So this one is watermelon. Watermelon. Yeah. Oh yeah. The good stuff. Oh, so is this gonna taste better? 
Uh, yes, I love the watermelon ones. And you I personally I like them more because I'm a huge watermelon fan. Mm, okay. I must keep them fresh, but it's definitely making a lot of mess in terms of packaging. There's like, a lot of packaging. Yeah, you should have seen us getting this this whole thing ready. Like this isn't the normal table setup in this place. It's like when we get to the wall, but right. Um, pull it out for D and D. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I, I've been pouring my stuff here since I landed, so it was just piles of like foreign coins and like bits of uh, stuff from uh, um, from uh, like hotels and shit like the that. The corners of the world, all over the world, I have been doing mostly eating and drinking. But besides that, uh, let's actually let's eat and drink. So these guys are the same, yep. pretty much in shape and texture. Same color as the last ones. They much. remind, I know exactly, they remind me of jelly tots, but without the sugar powdering mm. them. Mm. You guys have jelly tots? Uh, I think they call tiny. them something different. They're tiny versions, imagine tiny versions of this. But they're covered in like sh sugar. Um, so we have, they're all different flavors. we have definitely similar candy to that. There's, we have like dots and things like that, mm -hmm. that's similar. It smells, the smells in the strong but. Mmm. Mmm. It's really sweet. It's super mellow. Um, I still like these better. No, there it is. There's the flavor. Mm. It yeah. takes a minute. It does. Mm. No, that they're, 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 these have been good so far. The Japanese um, make you work for it. Yeah. You know? uh, typical. Uh, that's why we all sell all that shit to Mexico now. Now they work for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, like, that was, that was all right. That was all right. Also, by the way, we might just stop now and again and just read the text. So don't, don't worry, we can see in the corner, he's, he's, the, he's the text guy. Um, Congratulations, Steve. Yeah. Mm, yes, yes, I am. You're, you're, I am the, you're the eye candy, and you're the, uh, you're the tech guy, and oh, I yes. am the brains and the handsome of the operation. Eye candy and real candy. Yes. Mm. So are they, are they the candy? same flavor? Um, no. Uh, they, we had, of the gummy candies, we had watermelon. And we had, uh, li how do you say it? Lychee? Uh, I think lychee. most people actually say it lychee, though. Is it lychee? Like, yeah, I, mm. I just, I pronounce it. And lychee. they are definitely the same color. When you take them out of the package, they lychee. look exactly the same. But it's the smell and the taste. They taste yeah. totally different. All right, so that was, that's, that's the gummy candies. They're all right, they're all right. Um, uh, how, much, how much were they going for? Oh, those were like three dollars a bag. Something yeah, like something like that. But that's con prices, so right. they're probably cheaper if you go to like Japan or something. Or you can get in market, market especially Asian if you're markets. on the west coast. I imagine like Seattle places like that would have tons of them. Definitely. Um, I don't know about back in Ireland and or even like the UK. Uh, I think one of our guys is from the UK is watching right now. Um, but um, I would recommend you know if if you like your gummies but you don't like them maybe too firm. And you like different flavors. Right. All right, now to wash it down, I'm going to fight this monster once and for all. He's going to sip. Um, first time trying Monster Java. Dun, dun, dun. I drink these yeah. for work all the time myself. It's really good. Well, it does definitely have the smell of, 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 of um, a mocha. That, uh, Extremely sweet coffee. Um, did you gently shake it? I did not. Should I should have closed it. No, it's, okay. no, it's, it's all right. You don't have to. You really don't have to. Oh, okay. Um, oh, shake gently. Well, I'm supposed to be moving around anyway. Oh, I'd right. like to read the bottle. The bot if you've seen, this is like my third or fourth one now. Uh, get the sick bag. <laughs> he knows what's coming. Um, I didn't need the sick bag yesterday. No phone. <coughs> extra hot. Uh, half, half, ca oh, half calf. Non whip soy latte. Enough of the calf of house BS already. <gasps> they swore. Uh, How dare they? What monsters? What monsters oh. indeed? What monsters? Um, it's time to get uh, out of line and set up uh, what's next. Uh, Java Monster Premium Did you just tell Coffee. You get out of line? Yeah, time to get out of the line. Oh, get out of oh, the wow. line. Oh, that's that's much ahead. different. That makes sense. <laughs> um, so, uh, Java Monster Premium Coffee and Cream Brew Up with a Killer Flavor. Supercharged with Monster Energy Blend. Also, before I continue, if you can't hear me, tell me and I'll, I'll just speak louder. Um, Coffee done uh, the monster way. Wide open with a tail, uh, no prisoner attitude, and experience the know-how to back it up. All right. Well, this is going to taste like shit. It tastes like mocha. Yeah, yeah. It tastes, it's, it tastes like mocha, which is good, but as, as Metal Monkey knows... After a few minutes, the monster comes in and ruins the flavor for me. Mm. So, 
We still win in the fight. Well, see, I feel these, the Javas are a little different because they don't have the actual monster aftertaste. It, yes. It's all kind of like a coffee flavor, regardless of I'm how. I'm still waiting for it, and it's... Oh, there's drinks we get sometimes after the shop, after we go out for a shop, and they're like, um, they're Bailey's coffee, um, but they're like little tiny little cans, mochas and, um, mochas and latte, mm -hmm. and they're freezing cold, and they're gorgeous, mm -hmm. but uh, this is actually reminding me of the mocha flavour, because of course it's mocha, uh, only without the alcohol, um, and the fact is, I think I found it. Kristen is also right. There are different different flavors of Monster, especially like the coffee ones. Like I really like Mocha Bean. Okay. Um, the vanilla one's pretty good. I had a hazelnut one the other day. That was pretty good. Finally found one. I told you if you waited long enough, I'd prove you wrong. There used to be a whole bunch of different flavors of these that I think they were probably limited edition or something. There was like a like a Russian coffee flavor, mm -hmm. and there was also an Irish coffee flavor. They had really pretty cans. They're, the Irish one was, obviously, they made it green. Oh, and the, really? and the Russian one was obviously red. I will say this. There is a hint of monster trying to cut through. <coughs> there is. Because, obviously, otherwise, they've just made a coffee drink. Oh, right, there's um, the energy element to it. Yeah. They add stuff. Uh, the, and whatever the hell that makes monster so popular, and oh, can you find, get it here, though? Oh, the answer is no. Mm -hmm. No, you can't get that there. I've, I've, se I've seen... I've never seen it before. They also have a blue one that we can't get there uh, that I've seen here as well that I'll need to do at some oh, time. Have you had the white one? I've had the white one, okay. and that was... The sugar-free one. Yeah, that I don't was, like the white one. That was a, I, have a buddy I actually drink, so. like that one. Which one, do we, which one do we prefer the most of all of them? Something oh, like them? honestly, um, either like any of the Java ones are good, or the sugar-free white one is my favorite out of the non-coffee-based mm, ones. I can't ones. stand that one. No, that one's... Ugh. Patrick drinks it, too, a lot? Yeah, it tastes like friggin' Rockstar and crap. I prefer Rockstar to Monster. Ugh. I don't think it tastes like Rockstar, because I don't like Rockstar, either. Oh, uh, and uh, if you saw earlier, um, a, a few uh, videos ago, I was drinking... Um, I was drinking Volt, which, of course, is Jolt. Mm. And, um... No, um, I mean, I... Uh, no, I'll finish this first. And uh, that is just, that is, I didn't say it on that video. That is just jolt. It's not, it's, uh, I was joking but before, but I mean, more think about it. It's just jolt. So if you like jolt, find vault and you're fine. Uh, but like that stuff, that's cool. But it still has that hint, that fucking hint of, of, um, of a monster that kind of puts me off. And I don't like it. I haven't had jolt since high school. <laughs> oh, like I said, there was a story once, but uh, that's not for here. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't think most places sell jolt here anymore. The for best, a long time, it was not not something you could buy here. The best, uh, it, it wasn't uh, jolt. It was when it was Volt. The best place in Omaha to get it was a family fun center. It was like a like an arcade place, and they had it on Fountain Tap. What? It was so good. You could get like you could get like. Uh, you like almost a, a liter of it. Oh my god! Walk around the arcade with a, a, a an energy drink, basically. <laughs> That's incredible. A bunch, a bunch of like teenagers like going around with. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we did it all the time. I actually. It's crazy. How, you, how, how you know bleeding out of your eyes? Um, we were. <laughs> Every now and then we did. You know, it was it was kind of. <laughs> oh, did you guys ever have rocket fuel? Uh no. Ooh. I. We have we have rooster fuel. We had this energy drink called Balls. B A W L S. That that is good too. That's balls are really brand. great. If you ever get the chance, put some balls in your mouth. Oh, it was so great, but you can't get it here anymore because I think some twelve year old drank like four of them and had a heart attack and died. Oh, oh so. you know those those selfish children always ruining it for the rest of life. Oh, you can probably get it online. You can yeah, you, can you can still can get uh, liquid cocaine that. online. Uh, can oh, yeah, can you, you get can. no name? I don't know about no name. No, I mean no name is Liquid Cocaine. Oh, okay. Well, then yes. yes. Then with, yes. With, with, the little, with the little Red Bull bottle. Yeah, yeah. it's like and a little has, red bottle. That has like a name tag. Yeah, on the side. it's like sideways. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's no name. Oh mm -hmm. my god, I got a crate of that years ago, and oh, it was, it was hell, but it was glorious hell. Mm. Um, all right, so let us move on because this is as much a tasting video as anything. I'm curious about this pocky. Uh, chocolate banana pocky is my favorite pocky of all time. I'm like, also you can get pocky you you can get pocky in uh you can get pocky in Ireland very easily these days but it's it's only one or two flavors oh. uh so uh chocolate banana probably would have not been one of them uh on the back this ingredients share happiness well I'm gonna be sharing happiness mm -hmm. at least I hope it's happy because I like pocky 
I, I like the whole chocolate thing on top, and I like the um, and uh, some banana flavors. I like. Oddly enough, I don't like ban- I don't like um, pocky. Uh, I don't like banana as it is. Um, but um, that's just me. I'm I'm very f- finicky with my food, as you can see. Jeez, I love bananas. bananas you open are it. like the my second favorite food. food. <laughs> the difference with this one and a lot of other pocky flavors, yeah, though, is that uh, <laughs> the stick, the biscuit part of it, is actually the chocolate part of it. Right. And, and, and it's dipped in the banana flavor. <coughs> Whereas a Sorry lot of them, my coughing. whereas a lot of them are yeah. like a vanilla biscuit or you know something like that that is dipped in chocolate or strawberry or whatever else. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. Ah, uh, uh, somebody just went live. Jay. Oh, I smell the banana as soon as I open it. It's really... It wafts yeah. into your Waft. soul. The banana just jams itself up your nose. Don't, don't try that. Oh, whoa, jeez, you're not even kidding. As you handed me that, I smelled it. Banana. Oh, banana. Yeah, you can definitely smell Jesus. it. Jesus. But it's that, that weird, like, fake banana. Yeah, smell, it's know? just like those banana sweets you can get at, like, the movie theater. Mm-hmm. They're, like, mm-hmm. uh, like marshmallow. But uh, it's or or like sometimes you get like that those the scented candles. You're holding it upside down. I know, but I, I look I look like a little. little but it wand. shows. But it different. also shows the biscuit stick better yeah. that way because otherwise. We got him, love you, sir. Okay, ready. Subscribe us, Elivianus. There, mm. almost worked. Mm. Oh, I love this pocky. Mm. Ooh, that tastes like a chocolate dip banana. It kind of does. Are they um, uh, are they meant to look like cigs? Uh, mm. Yeah, no. I don't think so. They're meant to look like c- they're kind of like incense kind of sticks. I was thought. Yeah, actually, I think that's what they kind of look like too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you can stir them in coffee and stuff too. Yes. Yeah. They're like they're like you know they're just biscuit. It's yeah, it's kind of like a biscotti. Mm. The I, cookies and cream flavor is excellent as well. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think I've had them before. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, these are just like biscuits oh, um, with like um, with like um, the base here at the bottom. Mm. Uh, but honestly, yeah, yeah, these are nice. You could easily snack on these um, and go through a whole pack because there's nothing in it on one. But they have a really nice flavor, so you go back for like another and another and before long the whole pack's gone. So you would have really loved it a few years box. ago. Um, Anime Nebraska was actually sponsored by Pocky. Or, you know, they gave money to Pocky or something. I don't know what the ag- agreement was, but uh, everybody had Pocky under their chairs, basically. And they, they were they were handing out it. cases of Pocky. Everywhere in the hallways. All I weekend. And this is this so is a con with, like, about 5,000 people. Oh. Like your fish stick things. Oh, con- no, in a, in a non-fish-based way, sure. Oh, they do actually have a savory form of these. It's called pretz. Mm. Oh, pretz. Mm. Uh, we actually, I think we have them. Over in Ireland? I don't know. Asian markets sell it here. Um, yeah. So, uh, right, yeah, th- th- that's actually quite nice. So far, it's been pretty good so far. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, I actually think uh, the mocha is the best so far. The real test is going to be the Kit Kats. Yeah, yes. so, um, here, you can do that. I am not trying the green tea Kit Kat because I already the green know what it tea tastes like. He does not like it. Okay. I hate green this tea. This is going to be the, more or less the meat of the whole thing. It's going to be. We got, let's just show them everything, all the Kit Kats okay, we got. So okay, so this is, yeah, move the monkey out of the way. We got these. I saw Brad Jones try these, and he was actually kind of happy with them. Uh, I think he also tried these, which are uh, the green tea. Green tea, yeah. Okay, so I've got three each and every one of them. First of all, we've got sake. Um, so it's, uh, it's not, not, it won't actually be, it's not like those uh, sweets that have, like, the cure in them. They won't actually have any, like, alcohol in it. Unfortunately. And it was um, ridiculously well, expensive for yeah. this box. Oh, God, yeah, it was like, what, 20? Yeah, it was 20, like 20 bucks. bucks for this 20 box. bucks for this. You get a good few inside it, but, I mean, this is a novelty you buy yes, once. Yes, they are the little mm-hmm. fun-sized ones mm-hmm. inside the box. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's kind of like something you might give on Christmas. Um, uh... And the um, uh, all that food and monster is your favorite. I told you <laughs> it was. Uh, you know why I love it? I love it because I tried so hard to get it and I got it. You got it. So that's uh, yeah. for sure. Yeah, I got it. I finally found one. Now, saying that, I still prefer like regular mocha drinks, not monster flavored. But yeah, um, that is still that is. If I saw that and there was no other mo- mo- mocha drink and I wanted a mocha drink, this one's my personal favorite. This is green tea. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, in fact, there's here's some. She loves them so much, she wouldn't let me uh, put them on stream, and then I'm like, here, I'll trade you a few of these, so, I had to bribe this one. I was going to eat the whole box. 
Well, now you get now you get to eat a different bot. That was a metaphor. Uh, and here's a peach. <laughs> I am excited to try these. So yeah, yeah. Peach, peach sounds good. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking forward to the grape. The grape sounds weird. This yeah, one's be but great. it's not the weirdest one. Now here's the thing: we we we, we kind of love our grapes over in uh, Europe. So um, this uh, this might actually I might really like this one. Um, but the the really strange one that we're not quite sure of. It's it's all in Japanese. The only uh, English on it is Kit Kat and Nestle. Yeah, uh, Nestle. Nestle. Gosh. <laughs> I'm just nestling my my ne chocolate ne over ne here. Nestle, yeah. you can't nestling with your strange. Nestle. <laughs> Nestle. 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 We 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 are terrible I, to our workers. Uh -huh. I think it's either maple or red bean paste or both. Okay. So we're gonna leave that to last uh, because this one is gonna be probably the most uh, the most interesting. It's gonna because the one that we have really no idea about. Right. Um. So we shall actually start with this. Uh, I think the sake. Okay. Then we can move it out of the way and it. Yeah. Sake. Uh, okay, it's got a. Oh, the one the back. Piece of, like, yeah. Tape on it. Oh, we we could we could try translating it at some point. Um, but it's I think it's a little bit more uh, fun to go in blind. Right. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Right. Uh, while she gets open, she she she, she, she doesn't want to hurt the box too much. While she's opening this box, go ahead and like and subscribe. And remember, I do plenty of non-travel thing because uh, last time I checked, I don't have the money to do this every fucking week. Um, Unfortunately. But, uh, also, we are still planning to do the meetup uh, uh, stream later this week uh, for any um, to uh, anyone who's been already asked by our good friend Ray, who may or may not be in the chat at some point, or may or may not watch this in the future. Um, but it's going to be friends of like DP and uh, DFF and even, um, you know, even my fans. I have them, you know. Oh, I have what? them. I'm a real boy with real boy needs. Mostly to do with alcohol, but that's something else entirely. Um, speaking of, soon, my precious. Um, but let us, let us, oh, it's on your way there, is it? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice and chilly. We'll just move a little bit. They look, they look like, uh, they look like biscotti you get in, um, the little biscotti you get in, um, in, uh, like, uh, when you get a cup of coffee at a pub, and they give you, like, two biscotti on the side, in a little package. This is, a, this is the classiest looking Kit Kat wrapper I've ever seen. It, it is, it uh, is And they classy, still say, have yeah. a break, but well, hold on, look, have a break, have a Kit Kat, and then, what, are you meant to write on the back of this or something? Yeah, you can write somebody's name on it or a message yeah. or something like that. Oh, you can that's gift cute. them to somebody. It is very classy looking. Kit Kats are an extremely popular candy in Japan, that's why they make so many... Flavors and things like that, seasonally and year round, and uh, all kinds of things like my, that. This packaging is is mighty indeed. Oh. Mighty packaging. It defeats the Irish every time. Damn it! They, it, it must be made in like England. Sake. I mean, uh, fuck you, English. It does. <laughs> it smells like sake and white chocolate. It, ooh, it, it definitely. Yes, it does. Ooh, ooh. ooh okay, ooh. this is gonna be really rich. Isn't it? Are you ready? Hmm. It does taste like sake. It definitely tastes like sake. Oh god, yeah. Oh god. Like even has like the the burn to it and everything. It does. That's so weird. There's definitely that just burn, sake it. mixed into chocolate. Never really got me too much with sake. Well, it really good. Yeah, but it's also really good white chocolate too. Mm -hmm. It's wow. That's really interesting. But that's ex like extremely decadent. Oh god, yeah. You, like I said, this is something you would not buy every day, no matter no. how well off you were. You would just right. not do it. Not unless you. I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda hard to eat the other stick. Like it's not it's not mm. bad, but it's not good either. No. I've also had a lot of beer over the weekend, so Yeah, so any alcohol talking. alcohol flavor is not my friend right now, but it's no. still it is yeah. really good though, actually. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. That's right, yeah, Jesus. Um you wouldn't be able to unless someone told you this was sake, you'd be like I know what it is, but I can't quite place mm -hmm. it. It's just—if you didn't know it was sake, it would kind of taste like flowers. Yeah, but yeah, almost, yeah. But eating flowers like, is not something we normally do, unless no, we're Dutch. No, like so. um, like rose flavored stuff, though. Like oh, rose yeah. flavor is pretty common in food. You know, I had a buddy who ate a um, he had a got a flower or something on a, a plate at a Chinese restaurant, and uh, we didn't know if it was a garnish or what. So he was like, "Ooh, gonna eat it." So he ate a flower. Nice. Some of them are edible. Was it good? Uh, he said no, and spat it out. 
There are a lot I don't of, blame him. There are a lot of places that use edible the, orchids as garnishes. Those are actually pretty good. Yeah. I actually I think, like orchids. I think it was an edible orchid because it was definitely edible. Yeah. And was it like kind of like purple and white? Yes. Yep. Probably an edible orchid. Mm. I would have eaten it. I like those. It, it has a flavor that sort of sticks with you. In fact, I might yeah. need to take more of that mocha to wash out my palate. some water? Definitely. Uh, that uh, would be a more better ideal, yes. Um. Right. Can, can, can I, uh, oh, actually, hang on. I have a body armor still. <laughs> One second. Yeah, just, they're just going to leave me here. <laughs> I've never done a live stream before. I'm scared. Um. Ugh. Was it, uh. To keep that out of land for a bit. <coughs> this, this is just a cool beer. But um, yeah, it, yeah, it's like a glass of water. Because that one in particular is... Like water, Steve? No, he's, he's got that there, doesn't he? Water? Oh no, I'm good. Mm. I got body armor. Um, uh, but yeah, like um, it, it does kind of linger. And um, it, it's, I have a feeling that when you burp, you're going to actually taste it back up again. It's going to taste like sake when you burp. Yeah. I almost guarantee And it. let's be honest here. Sake it can be kind of pleasant, but uh, like you don't want to be just tasting it. It's like a, one of those flavors you don't want to drink constantly. No. Probably one reason why they say so nice is a shot. Mm. Um, sake bombs, though. Mm. Mm. Sure. Most of these bottles behind me here are sake. Sake! Sake is good! Oh, yeah. Racist. Yeah, there's a lot of the... Well, it's kind of hard to see the bottles, honestly. They're mostly lights. Um, this is true. I was thinking of doing like a quick um, uh, like a quick uh, show around the apartment, but I mean, this is this their home. I didn't think that would be kind My of... Home. Home. I'm, also, a, I'm a home invader. This is pretty much the part worth now. looking at anyway. It's all this stuff behind us. It so. is pretty... It's very, extremely nerdy. This whole trip has just raised my nerd and my otaku by at least 40%. Hey, okay, we have a big library here. I'm proud of it. We do. It, it, it's solid enough. It's, it's about... It's about yeah, yeah. My DVDs kick their DVDs' ass, but their books kick my books' ass. Um, although yeah. I'm noticing one or two things we have in common. Oh, um, yes. The red, the red plastic cups must be had. I mean, we just ate... water, though. <laughs> the, um, uh, what, what are they called again? Uh, uh, the, solo cups. Uh, solo these cups. Are, these are off-brand. They're not solo. <laughs> I'm cheap. All right. So let's move on now to... Uh, let's move on now to the, the grape. Let's, let's see. Let's see if it's as terrifying. Are you gonna people. grape us? I'm gonna grape you in the mouth. <laughs> I'm in. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, I'm he seems disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got his hopes up. The week is young, mm. and so are you. Mm. Oh, oh, I see. It's okay. Yeah, it's uh, oh, it's yeah, it's on the top. Pop it open. Oh, that's so convenient. Sure. Are that? there small ones too? There are conveniently exactly three of them here. Hey. Ooh. How much did these go for again? Uh, these were, they were like four dollars. No, these were these were eight dollars a package. Eight dollars a package. Yes. Um. All right. Look, yes, look, look at their so. little packaging. It kind of it, they kind of look like um. Kind of look like detergent mm. blocks. Yeah, I'm really not <laughs> looking forward to this. This is Yoho great. Mm. Well, you've yeah. got your liquids here if, if it doesn't taste bad. As for me, I'm actually kind of hopeful. So it's like a pinkish, pink, really it's like light lavender. lavender yeah. Oh, yeah. it's like Trunks' hair. Yeah. <laughs> the color it is. And all the non nerds uh, who are watching this are like, who the fuck is that? Mm. Uh, Princess Trunks. Eight for, uh, oh, uh, eight for three bars. Oh, God, yes, oh, Metal Monkey. Again, these are con prices. Yeah. These are the prices that you pay the vendors but also at a convention. Metal Monkey, he's, he's, he's a stickler for the, mo the most ridiculous prices. Mm. This so. smells like cheap, waxy lip gloss. Oh, it doesn't God. smell really, again to me. I'm really not excited to eat it. It kind of smells like Play-Doh. It bit. does It does look like Play-Doh. It looks like a kid made a, a oh. Kit Kat bar with Play-Doh. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. God, the flavor takes a, takes a while to get in. But it, yeah, it's great. Oh. That's great, all right? It's great in my mouth. Oh. It is like a like a great pop tart. It tastes like dime tap. Gross. Oh, it's like when we tried Grape Fago for the first time. Ugh. Except in Kit Kat form. I'm good. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would. Do you want the other bar? They're yours. Uh, leave them. We, we, can, we can deal. There we you can go. deal. Oh, for God's sake. They don't even want to touch them. It's like it's poison to them. I finished half, the other half of mine, but I just don't want the other one. Oh, the other one. Look, the thing is, it's... 
Um, it's, um, I think that the flavour, it's not terrible, but I will say there's an element to it that reminds me of like if you've eaten something slightly stale, mm, it kind yeah. of it kind of sticks in the mouth and it won't leave unless you like you take a sip. It tastes already stale. Yeah, it's yeah. like that. It's like really cheap grape flavoring with stale cookie. Mm, yeah, mm. well, and we would call it biscuit, but it's the same thing. But um, one thing I will say, I like the color. Yeah, it was an interesting color. Oh. The peach, the peach ones I'm really looking forward to. Yeah. Though they're, they're just a white Kit Kat, but I'm really looking forward to those. Oh, racist. <laughs> just mean it's not an exciting color like the really weird lavender Kit Kat. I tasted like now shit. it's weird. No, yeah, no. It's just... <laughs> now, look, no <laughs> energy videos wow. does not support <laughs> racism, but it does support it when it's funny. I... Wow. Ah. And at her expense. I have the scissors. I just want you to know that. If we go offline, we're on we camera. Now. <laughs> and... Oh, oh, she, she's getting feisty. It must be all those Kit Kats. It must be the sake going through her. Oh, <laughs> so, no, yeah. the bookshelf fell over and the swords fell on Dylan. Oh, <laughs> Damn, it's just like that gypsy woman said would happen. <laughs> He's getting cut up. <laughs> He's not quite dead. Now, look at these fine peach asses right here. Look at those asses. Here, and we'll put the box on display while we eat it. Yep, yeah, enjoy wow. the booty. I wonder if YouTube will take it down for nudity. Um, this is definitely the most, uh, most powerful smelling Kit Kats that I have ever smelled. Very peach? Oh, super peach. Nice open. You'll, you'll get it right when you open that thing. Woo! Ooh. Yeah. God, this is like some sort of soap almost. It's, like a... it's almost as if they fermented the Kit Kat in the peach. Oh, yeah. no, it smells like those, uh, those like trolley fruit rings, the peach flavored ones. I'm 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 the seriously gummies. getting like a shampoo, but like a sort of cheap shampoo that just tries to like have all the suave. smell at once. Suave peach. Suave. That's the cheap shampoo brand here. Oh okay. Yeah. Suave. It's like they sell it at Walmart and stuff. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. It's definitely peach. Mhm. Mm mm. Not bad. Mm. 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 Hmm. Pretty strong flavor. It is. I mean, yeah. it's a good strong flavor. It's definitely there. Mm -hmm. mm. It's not like weird and dime a mm -hmm. You know what? It kind of reminds me of like um like you know like a, like a like a little cake a cupcake or something like that that mm -hmm. might have flavor mm -hmm. yeah, infused with it. Kind of has a soapy aftertaste though. Mm. I know. I kind of like it. Not there yet. I haven't like finished it. I'm just, I'm just trying to see. Can I get the soapy aftertaste? Well, there is. I don't know if it's everything else I've been eating, but there is the um, this flavor, uh, the, this feeling in my tongue that it's uh, it's kind of like. Um, That's my bad. Yeah. Is it like chalky or waxy? Probably almost, it's, it's almost becoming chalky. It's probably because of the like the outside chocolate part of the Kit Kat. It's definitely in. Um, so out of the Kit Kat, which one is your favorite? Oh, um, so far, uh, definitely not the sake. Uh, these weren't too bad. Um, the uh, boop, boop, boop. do we have the green tea yet? Nope. Um, they won't be your favorite. Maybe not. But I'll eat uh, the rest of them. Like you're gonna eat all the grape ones. Yep. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm almost tempted to say the grape, but the choice between the grape and the sake and these two are just they're like ooh. Just to show the difference, like in palates across the world. Yeah. This isn't this like isn't terrible. One. Yeah, but you don't want you wouldn't eat the whole thing, would you? No, I probably wouldn't. No. But after... Also, I had a lot of beer over the weekend for yeah. me. I only weigh like hundred pounds. So, so yeah, so far it's lavender, like but we got we got two more to go. We got two more to go. Uh, so the green team one is next, and she's already sad that someone else is eating him. My hand smells like flowers. I don't want any of that. You can have two of them. Yeah. Okay. See. Mm -mm. You could have as uh, I don't know how many uh, sake ones in equivalent because there's a lot more sake. Okay. I'll move all these over here. Sake, sake, uja. <laughs> Yeah. These are the green tea ones. <laughs> Let's watch, I, shall we? Let's. I can tell that you really like these ones. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, wait, I want to drink the water before this. Yeah. I don't want it to taste man, like man, man, kill package. No, he didn't. And that's when he starts choking. Oh, worth it. The reason why we can't have Kinder Eggs in the U.S. <laughs> no, they actually brought them back. I know. With the did. toys in I them. I know. I know. If you see that. Bubble yours or whatever it's called. Bubblicious. Oh, bubblicious grape. 
He got advice to get a vape uh, flavor. Oh, that's oh. right. So if, uh, so, actually, I've heard it's really good for my friends that vape. Yeah, and um, Paul, uh, I asked Paul Zigo uh, from uh, DFF. Uh, he um, he said um, uh, he just said bubbleish is great. That's all he'll ever need. These, by the way, are very very bright green. They are. I feel right at home <laughs> with these motherfuckers. Look at that. Look at it. It looks like a. It looks like this actually looks Disgusting. more like flavor. Disgusting. If you smell it, it kind of smells like honey. No way. <coughs> okay. Yeah, see, told you. They never believe me. Mm, I like that. Hmm. She's a weirdo. Okay, I'm not. I'm already not a fan, but I don't hate it. It tastes like. I'm trying to get it, it. It tastes. It tastes like if you get a bag of tea. That's being used, and you drink. You just pour it pure black, and then you just drink the last dregs of it, mm -hmm. but in chocolate form. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I suppose that's sort of fair. Uh, you know what? I get the look of a sick dog if I ever eat any of these. They're disgusting. Steve it's mostly so his much. beagle haircut. He looks like a young James. Man. I don't even like green tea. Green tea, anything. It's just not my. Mm -hmm. I don't mind green tea. Well, not my speed. Tea. I don't mind green tea. No, I love green tea. Not my speed. Mm. Well, I don't hate it, but if I saw it on a shelf, I'd probably just keep scrolling on. But, right. but, if, but if someone gave it to me... Mm. Oh, God, there's these biscuits um, we get um, now and again in um, Baramba Christmas. They're like wafers. It's, it's basically a very similar to Kit Kat. Do you want the other one? Um, no. Here you go. Yeah, um, they're all yours now. And uh, yeah, let me see. And you even got a few uh, sake ones out of it too. It's a good day for you. Thanks. Um, <coughs> but it's oh, it, it has that after effect on it, and I can't remember what they're called. They're called something wafers. Oh Jesus! But um, they're not bad. But yeah, there's this, it's the flavor. It's like a, it's almost like I said, it's like a tang to it. Uh, it doesn't quite make sense. See, I'm right there with Metal Monkey. Anything. Anything herbal tea of any kind of flavor herbal is just... Mm, I, I drink lots of different kinds of tea, to be fair. So I'll, I'll drink some sleepy time tea when I'm sick or something. Yeah. But, mm -mm. Of but course, in Ireland, we... mostly chamomile, so... We, uh, in Ireland, of course, we drink it the same way you guys drink coffee, which is just our, like, industrial-scale black tea with a drop of milk or a lot of milk, depending on what you want, and just go glug, 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 a gallon every, every day. Ugh. Even Metal Monkey, and he's pretty damn... Reserved when it comes to his stuff, he he is every hour on the hour, kettle 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 kettle. So we don't mind green tea, but well, some of us don't mind green tea. But anyway, this is it. this is the great mystery box. The mystery box. What is inside the mystery box? I think it's red bean paste. I'm drinking tea right now. I <laughs> think it's red bean and maple. I think <coughs> I almost think it's like fig by the looks of it. The way it looks on the oh, inside. Oh, it could be fig. Yeah, it could be fig. I mean, if you look really closely at it, it almost looks like um, um, a fig roll. Hmm, it does no. look a little bit. Fig Newton's here. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. Fig Newton's here. Uh, but on the back, it does have the leaves. Right, there's little maple leaves all over it. So, so oh, I don't think those are maple leaves, though. Yes, they are. Those are Japanese maple leaves. Oh, Japanese maple leaves. Okay. There you go. That makes sense. Not Canadian maple leaves. They do look different. I'm curious myself. I actually kind of hope it's the one um, Ashley suggests. It's like the the bean paste because I've and had maple. the bean or sweet ma bean paste, maple, whatever. Because um, I actually really enjoyed. Uh, I really enjoyed the um, the. Uh, oh look, I got another like. What did that? Look like? That was me. I know. I saw you do it. You're literally right there. I like this video. You're in it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like, uh, what the fuck was I talking about before? <laughs> you distracted me with your I'm prettiness. I'm distracting, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did I? Oh, there. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I couldn't pass it all the way over. It's okay. Let us have a look. Oh, the bean. Yeah, I've had the bean. What the hell happened to mine? <laughs> uh, me too. Oh, the hell? We and got a bit of a misprint here. Oh. <laughs> they're, pa they're, they're pants. Look at I them. <laughs> they're trousers. It's like some yeah, sort of city skyline. Yeah. They smell kind of like dirt. Oh, they do. Yeah. Or like, how did they cough?
so weird. Oh, oh god, I think it might be Fig, because sometimes Fig gets like that. I, I don't know why I'm talking like that, but that's just a point. Oh. <laughs> I am too strong for, for me. <laughs> you oh. Wow. He, he took a break. <laughs> I had a Kit Kat, or several. Right. Okay, so. Ready? Oh god, it smells terrible. I don't know what this flavor is. I'm not a fan of it. I don't know what the flavor is either. It's a... Yeah. <laughs> no! I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> You're disgusting, bruh. <laughs> this is just... What does it call you, bruh? What do you call me, bruh? Call you, bruh, bruh, bruh. bruh. Yeah, it's bad, bruh. This is Brad. Oh, the Brad. <laughs> this is Brad. It's not very good, but... It's... It's definitely it's interesting. It's stale. It, 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 it does kind of taste like dirt. Yes, it's. But I don't want. It's like dirt and rice krispies almost. And it's melting all over my. Fingers. Dirt krispie treats. Yeah, there is a rice krispie element to it. It's, it's got this weird crunch mm. to it that's like rice krispies, like a rice krispie square. Mm -mm. That one was not. All right, there's a, a phone number here. We're just gonna call them. Yeah, we, we need to fuck. Excuse me, sir. What is this uh, flavor that I just put in my mouth? <laughs> yeah, what do I? Yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh, thank you. That was the most racist thing that's happened in this video. Do, 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 racism. <laughs> there. I always love to trump myself. Speaking of Trump, let's talk about politics. Um, <laughs> hey, we got another day for the midterms. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. We're going to let those. Um, I might even. Um, no, I'm not going to do it on the He's going to go vote. And you know he's going to be Democrat. I can't argue that one. What about independent? Any good independent? Uh, not in this area. No, that's a shame. Yeah. Uh, we had some mayoral independents, but uh, none of them were really uh, worth it. This tastes like shit. I this... think that is red bean paste. The more I look at it. This is just, it is unpleasant. It's like, it's like a paste that you're meant to add to like a medicinal herb to make it um, like a or to make it like a, a medicine almost. Yeah, it doesn't mm. taste very. Fun. Maybe it's healthy for you. Like the bean itself could be healthy for you or it has whatever that else. Flavor. <laughs> yeah, it has a flavor that you get with health food. You know, and there's always this one douchebag who's like, "Oh yes, it's so good for you." You know, like it'll just it'll just bite like, yeah. you know, it'll, it'll it'll just go it'll just help you um it'll help your your innards just oh, grow more agree, regularly. Yeah. Oh, so it gives you diarrhea. Okay. I mean, it feels like this would give cleansing, you diarrhea. This really does taste like it, it could give you the runs. Do we need somebody to speak really quickly about the side effects of eating this Kit Kat? Hmm. None of us can talk that fast. Hmm. I could. Hey, my mom liked your post. Yeah. Nice. I really have to turn off those Facebook notifications. <laughs> <laughs> but it's right across the top of our camera. <laughs> yeah, just like a, imagine this this huge white box and it goes ding. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one I don't know who would like this except maybe Asian people who actually grew up eating something like this. That one I think is actually my least favorite out of all of these now. Uh, well, we were we were terrified, uh, but um, now we ask a simple question of before we move on, uh, what uh, was your favorite? I like the peach. Peach was good. Well, my favorite was green biased tea. anyway because I already liked the green tea flavor. Blech. I I really like the green tea flavor. When you, when you do that, don't do it. You're quite in my ear. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Uh. <laughs> I've got some footage of him doing that. That later. Um, the con was oh. fun. Yeah, it was. It was My really tongue is fun. a very lively muscle. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, it is. This, uh, by the way, is my favorite. The, um, but not by much. I'm not saying like, mm, this is gorgeous. Rather, it was just, it was all right. So we got a good spread. Yeah, we got a good spread of if or but. So far, like I said, the mocha we is... We have one more thing to try. We, we have two more, we... technically. We have this and the beer. Yes. Oh, right. That's right. Yes, we are. So, um... Hello, Panda. Oh, she'll take the camera first. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Panda bear. Okay, we've Made panda. from real panda. We've had these before and they are good. They are delicious. I have them. I will let you uh, taste it. God, you have a big packet, don't you? By the yeah. look, by on, look, what, is only one of them? Yes, that's it. Jesus Christ. They're very small cookies. Um, 
Yes, so they actually look like they might be uh, cookies filled with chocolate cream. So I've had stuff like this before. Mm -hmm. Oh, everybody has. Yeah, they're just they're just like um, biscuits with chocolate sauce or um, or goo in the middle. Um, they're a bit dry. Yeah, they they kind of look like on the front of it a bit like animal crackers. Nice, maybe with a cup of tea. Bag. They're made by Meiji. Meiji. They they, they yes, the yogurt. emperor made these. No, yeah, the chocolate. Co for, first he ran, first he um, revitalized Japan, then he made these cookies. Yeah, well, he revitalized Japan to make these cookies. I mean, you needed the factory output. Okay, so, that's a, God, those are some pretty shitty pictures on the front of them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like someone just has bad skin. You can't even see it on the camera. No one ever gave the Meiji credit for being artists. It's like a, oh, oh this one doesn't even... <laughs> It looks like they're potatoes that have the blight. <laughs> look at them. Look, this is meant to be a fucking panda. It is nothing. It's a blob of chocolate. <laughs> okay. I'm half tempted to go through each and every one of them. I think, I think the guy that stamps the these ball? fell asleep. Oh, with the, uh, this one actually has a picture. This, this one actually, actually has a picture. Has a picture. This... But it's also supposed to be a panda shaped cookie. Oh, yeah, you can Not see. Not just a potato. <laughs> I, I think maybe they just did one or two and then it got bored. <laughs> um, some of them are a bit potato-y and some of them are... This one is a glorious potato. You, you could make a couple of chips out of this, but then you die of sickness pretty quick. Oh, I think this one's playing hockey. Hey. Nice. Enter your hockey references here. I'm going to eat the football one. And by the way, it's, 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 fo it's, it's football, not American football, but real football. It's what we call soccer. What you call football. And you're going to like it. <laughs> and speaking of like, I like the biscuit element of this. If you made it into like a, a bar, this would be nice for dipping into tea. Mm-hmm. It would taste like an E.L. fudge cookie if it was like that. Oh, right. And, yeah. The chocolate's a little bit on the blandish side. Uh, what I call American chocolate. You know what these taste like? It's what? Japanese chocolate. Uh, they taste like the uh, the Keebler Elf cookies. They have that, that's just the... Uh, the cookie with the, the chocolate icing, kind of like, I know. Exactly. I don't know what the word is for this. I know exactly version. what these taste like. You mean Swizzling? These taste like, like that, yeah. These taste like cookie crisp um, um, cereal. Without the milk. Of course, without the milk. But I mean, between the chocolate chip and that, that's what they taste. They taste like huh? cookie, chi uh, yeah, cookie crisp. Yeah. Uh, and as a result, they're perfectly fine. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're yeah. Good. So, before we move on to the alcohol, um, let us talk about what we have eaten. So we have, um, from, what was your favorite and what was your worst? Mm, out of all of it? Yeah. I'm actually eating more of these. Go for it. I'm not going to eat these all. I might be a Toby Chub Chub. Probably so. the green tea Kit Kats, yeah. That's my favorite. And the worst, the bean thing? Yeah, that was, that was terrible. That was not good. It, it smelled like dirt and it kind of tasted like dirt. It did. It, it's, uh, for all we know, that was literally just some mud they had outside like, the factory that they just pasted. If it was supposed to be red bean paste, that's really unfortunate because <laughs> it was not Maybe good. we just got a bad batch and that guy got fired the next day. <laughs> not tasty. Um, of course, Nestle probably ground them up and put them into the next batch. <laughs> we know what you do, Nestle. The next you batch was amazing. <laughs> oh, but we can't get enough of it. Where can we get more? <laughs> I'll pay you anything. Anything. <laughs> but, uh, all right, you... Um, my least favorite, if uh, if we're talking about things I tried tonight, was the uh, the grape Kit Kats. I did not like those at all. They mm -hmm. were actually worse than the uh, the dirt Kit than the dirt Kit Kats, in my opinion. Uh, the best thing, um, uh, probably the peach Kit Kats. I'm gonna say that because I hadn't tried those before. They were pretty good. Yeah. You know, I was actually thinking, um, was uh, was the peach Kit Kat, uh, the the grape ones my favorite? And no, because the peach ones, the peach ones have more flavor in them. The grape ones aren't as bad um, uh, to me as they are to you guys. But at the same time, there's not much flavor going on. The grape yeah. ones taste like bland lip gloss. Yes, a bland is the key word there. It's it's, it's very bland. If there are fla if there is a flavor there, it's kind of on the low key, and it's not really worth it's it. Not good. Um, but the peach ones do do taste solid. Yeah. So that would be my favorite in in terms of that, and my least favorite, of course, is whatever the fuck uh, the um, the um. <laughs> they didn't even look right. They didn't even look right. I mean, if, that's the um, first sign. If we somehow have a Japanese viewer, to... and you can tell us what those Kit Kats are, 
They were supposed to look like, if you can see it, they were supposed to be look. a bit pants-like. Oh, were they? There mm. is supposed but to be like a maple ones? leaf printed on it. And oh. they, it looks like they may have melted a little. Mm. Yeah, but they all, they all three of them melted exactly the same. They it seems did. A bit off. Maybe just these particular kind melted with Maybe. from the vendor. I just leave my finger good. there and then... Oh, and the, uh, also a big shout out to the Pocky as well. That's lovely. Oh yeah, that was good. The chocolate yeah. banana Pocky is always good. Now we're almost finished. Uh, what you uh, you sorry? It's a, it's a oh, uh, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. So okay. now we move on to the final one. This one I didn't plan, and this one we did not get the con. We got it up at Walmart. Um, we, I saw it because, as you well know, I enjoy drinking my alcohol to an incredible extent. Um, uh, incredible might not be the right word. More more like incredible. That's a word. Uh, I haven't drank really that much today, uh, but uh, we're going to change that with uh, Arrogant Bastard Ale, which is... You're not worthy. Yeah, underneath. You are, you are not worthy. This motherfucker caught my eye mostly because of this. He really is an arrogant bastard. I mean, look at him on the, on the front cover. Wait, Good old Nick there. Scratch. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, there's a whole story about this in the back. I suppose I'll read it because I normally read uh, when I do craft beers and such. I normally read it. Um, uh, Arrogant N. Oh God! It has. It starts off with a goddamn uh, the dictionary description of the word arrogant. Um, the act of quality of being arrogant, haughty, under assumption, overbearing, uh, overbearing conceit. But doesn't sound like it explains it, does it? It just seems like they gave you more words you have to look up if you're dumb enough to know what's arrogant. You know, you're supposed to use the word of that you're describing in the description of the word. <laughs> this is um, this is an aggressive beer. Ooh, you probably won't like it. <laughs> That's a marketing campaign on there that. You go. Did Lemony Snicket write the back of this beer? Uh, it, it, God, it's, like a, it's, it's probably Piers. Put the couple. beer down. Go drink something else. Stop drinking this beer right now. <laughs> it's quite doubtful that you will have the taste or sophistication to be able to appreciate an ale of this quality and depth. Motherfucker, you do not know who you're dealing with. Wow. You just got insulted by a beer can. <laughs> it's I not didn't the first even time. want beer, and now I just want to defiantly <laughs> try the beer. All right, we're passing this shit around. <laughs> uh, we would suggest that you stick to safer and more familiar territory. Maybe something with a multi-million dollar ad campaign at convincing you it's made in Little Brewery. Or one of them implies that their tasteless fizzy yellow beer will give you the more sex... Uh, give you the more sex... Uh, gives you more sex appeal. Uh, perhaps you think multi-million dollar ad campaigns make beer taste better. Perhaps you're mouthing your words as you read this. You're reading aloud. That doesn't count. You, you have to mouth yep. the words. It's not, it's not insulting you there. It's no. already insulting you. Very thoroughly. close to being meta as fuck. But not quite. This, that beer, was a, this beer is scaring me. <laughs> this beer wants you to get into a fight before you're even drunk. <laughs> It is. It's. It's like, <laughs> who the fuck are you, and why are you talking to me? <laughs> you know, like, whoa, dude, I just wanted a beer. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> Jesus, I love this guy. I might even bring it home with me. <laughs> it's like Bill, they'll get bent up like crazy. Yeah. At Arrogant Brewery, we believe that pandering to the lowest common denominator re represents the high, the height of tyranny. Okay, I think I know where this is going. A, a virtual form of keeping the consumer barefoot and stupid. Brought forth upon the unexpected public in 1997, arrogant uh, bastard ale openly challenges the tyrannical overlords who were brazenly attempted to keep Americans chained in the shackles of poor taste. Ha! They were just really referring to you guys, not me. Um, which... Well, it's probably an American beer, though. Self-deprecation is allowed. Boom. Yeah. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Since the very beginning, American, ba American bastard ale has... Uh, uh, reveled in its unprecedented and uncompromising celebration of intensity. There, there has been many nods to Arrogant Bastard Ale, even outright attempts to copy it, but one can o uh, only one can ever embody the true nature of liquid arrogance. Damn. Now, here's, wow. here's the thing. If this beer is not everything it, it claims to be, be really disappointing. Mm -hmm. it will be the biggest poser in the fucking world. Oh, and it's also oh, those questions and comments. Okay, I have to say though, it's it's a solid amount of drink. I think we can. And also, I want to point this out. I think it's a pint. Yeah. Um. If you pour, if you know you're pouring. It comes it in pints. Comes in pints. 
You've had a whole lot already. Oh, you beat me to it. Seven point two percent. So it's potent as fuck. Not at the most potent. And uh, yeah, if you know how yeah, you're pouring it, you can definitely get a pint. Um, okay, let's first we'll have a sniffle. How's the smell? Nice mm -hmm. aroma, hoppy. No, actually, no. Uh, no, no. It is quite bland in terms of smell. Mm. And I'm not. I'm, I'm, before I say this, if I sound like I'm deprecating it, I'm not. If if I if I am impressed by it, I will give it props. But quite honestly, I'm getting no smell. What do you What do you guys? Oh my god, right. that's so that's so weird. It's what like the fuck? Yeah, it's like it really doesn't have much of a sense. Steve doesn't smell so, very So yeah, well, disclaimer, anyway, I have a terrible nose. I don't though, and that smells know. like nothing. Hmm. Yeah, not... just regular old beer. But it's like the weakest beer smell. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's almost like a Bud Light. No, Bud Light smells stronger like it's, beer it's than like, that. It's like it, sure? it, it, yeah. I'll tell you what it smells like. If you've been drinking only like Bud Light uh, in the bar and then you wore the t-shirt mm. the next day, that's hint of your smell would still stay on it. That's what that is. <laughs> hint of Bud Light. Yes, hint of, Oh, that's a bad <laughs> opening, arrogant bastard. That's a bad <laughs> opening. But you might redeem yourself. You arrogant bastard! You arrogant bastard! Oh, hey, hey, I need to drink it first before I can act like a drunken officer. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Alright, down the hatch. Slaunch it. Well, it's flavorful, I'll give it that. Now that is hoppy. That is okay. Very, that is a very hoppy, uh, that's a very hoppy beer. Okay. Um, oh, oh, it does not like your taste buds. Maybe I think it's killing off all the, the sugars of the Kit Kat. Oh god. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, we don't have any palate cleanser, ladies and gentlemen. Water. We got, we got, yeah. Water, water is not a palate cleanser. Mm. No, it's not. It really is not. Um uh, it is absolutely fucking lutely unpleasant. Was it arrogant though? It's arrogant to think that it's good, but then Ooh. again, oh. yeah, because you see, the thing is, it's not easy to drink, um, as in, like, you can't knock it back, which is what it's going for. Okay, so it's got that down, because it's meant to be like, this is a beer. But here's the thing, it doesn't want you to sip it either, because it doesn't have the flavor to sip. Let's see. Does it got... Uh, I think it's, I thought, I thought it was like an yeah. IPA. Yeah. Is it an IPA? Um, that's what I thought too. Have a sip then. It is not something. an IPA. It At is. least it doesn't say it on the can. Richmond, Virginia. That's where they they brew this. Neat. We were talking about Richmond earlier, but we'll see in a different context. Not to do with beer. Um, kind of a tax to your mouth, doesn't it? Ooh. It's not pleasant. It's... It's strong. It, it's like an ale that's trying to be a lager. Yes. It's it's really trying to be a lager. It doesn't quite get there, and, it, and when it falls short of that, it just kind of goes back to whatever it's, it is. Yeah, we, we're, oh. we're not... Yeah, it, it's not your friend to your tongue. It's really not. Yeah. It, uh, oh, and um, it, that, that sort of... Feeling now, I'm getting it. It's kind of like acidy, mm, almost. It's, it's it's got the taste of a lager, but not the texture of it. It's the taste of a lager <sighs> with the texture of a beer. A, a cheap port, a yeah. porter. Disgustingly bitter, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's oh god. Yeah, it is. Odd. It is not your friend. It didn't oh. claim to be your friend. So maybe it's an arrogant give, bastard. Give really, it is. It actually is quite honest. In all fairness, it's a, it's a very oh. unpleasant thing, person on the front, a very unpleasant thing on the back. It's almost like, why would you buy this? I mean, I've heard Richmond, Virginia is a pretty unpleasant place. So. We unfortunately have another one. Sorry if bridge. anybody lives there. Yeah, but uh, the great thing is that it's it's strong. But the thing is, you couldn't really knock it back unless you're already drunk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not the worst beer by far I've ever had. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, that aftertaste, like when it, when it, when it... 
Uh, the, no, the, no, like, no. Gases it's, of it's, the beer come yes. back up and kind of roil. When it gets out. to like the way the to- back in your tongue, like right, right at the back, then it just goes. Before I go, mm-hmm. here's a flavor. <laughs> yeah, it just shits on you as it goes down. <laughs> as it's like, I'm dying now, but here you go. <laughs> Enjoy the flavor. <laughs> Another one. Oh my so. motherfucking Christ! <laughs> this is just not a. Have a gummy if you want one to get rid of that taste. Oh. Well, um, in one fell swoop, arrogant bastard perhaps treated us like we deserved, or perhaps we are seeing through its bullshit, because it's says sophisticated. Who the fuck is is this? Like the idea of wine, like champagne. The worse it tastes, Ugh. the better. Uh, the better it is. Well, that's how rich people are. They they like things that uh, poor people go. Oh, that's disgusting. You know. No, it's sophisticated. No, it just tastes good. <laughs> I can picture the guys who make this are just in their brewery and they're the only ones who like this flavor and they think everyone else in the world are just fucking like plebs. Guys, <laughs> uh, what, what was the brewing company again? Um, arrogant Brewing. Arrogant Brewing, you are arrogant. You are. Indeed. You don't understand what people want in a beer. No. Definitely not that. No. Not at all smooth. At least or not every here. One person or in Ireland. Yeah, I think, Jesus. I think most people that like beer like smoothness in their beer, and that yeah. is not at all smooth. I don't like the way it kind of bubbles down your chest and kind and of it comes stays back. There. Oh, I just burped. Oh, oh it was mostly oh. just still Kit Kat. Oh, okay. Well, Good. Well, what? Which Kit Kat? The dirt one? I think the peach kind of flowed its way oh, back over oh, the Irish. Okay. Well done, little peach. <laughs> well done. Alright, with that, actually, I. T- Why do I keep sipping this thing? <laughs> it's killing me now. You arrogant bastard. Look at him. He's just like, yeah, you are. Another victim. Another victim. Oh. Afterwards, afterwards, your body will be dragged back to the brewery and be added to our next batch. I'm not gonna oh, drink the one. That, that would me. explain the taste. Oh, maybe, maybe we'll give it to him. Uh, oh, you know what? Nick will Dylan. be here tomorrow. Oh, oh yeah. yeah well, like well, there we go. There you go. He'll probably go buh, but he'll drink it. Buh. <laughs> and no one can blame it. Is he a sheep? <laughs> More like the Hank Hill sound. Oh, God. Oh, oh, me. <laughs> that one. All right. Well, well, all right. Now I know what my worst flavor is for the whole night. Uh, yeah, that was bad. Oh, that is just a fun way of ending it, though. I actually had fun over the past hour. That, that flavor kicked the ass of the dirt Kit Kat. Yeah, because that is a much more earthy, horrible flavor. It was kind of like the smell of when you open a bottle of Coke and just smells a little bit like dirt. Mm. But anyway, that was that was it. Like I was I was pondering should we get more, but I wouldn't know what to have gotten and I wasn't gonna get more at the con because that those prices could be a little bit crazy. Eight dollars a box for Kit Kats. Yeah, for yeah, example. For three little fun size Kit Kats for eight fucking dollars. And besides I was buying other th- other things like merch and shit like a t shirt didn't fit me and um uh, I picked up. Oh, I I picked. Uh, you got Bob Ross Deadpool. I did. I got Bob. I got a, a, a pop. Uh, a Bob Ross Deadpool. He's gone to the factory. Mm-hmm. Uh, right up there to BB-8. And uh, the snowball plushie. Yeah. Um. Oh, don't tell that the dog. Coco needs to see that. Mm. He's gonna be so surprised when she sees another dog to chew and then be bored at. Uh, so right. So that is it to everyone who was in the chat. Thank you. Um, to um, to my good friends Ashley and Steve, <laughs> thank you for joining. Perhaps you will be seeing you'll be seeing more of my many 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 fans. Uh, stop! Click the like button. <laughs> That's my job. I'm low energy videos. <laughs> I should be doing that. Click the button like there. Click the button like. Click the button like hey, you mean it. it. Hit it like you mean it. Get out of the north. Get out of the north. North King, North King. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You know the drill. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe. I will be back. I actually don't know. I'm playing most of this by ear. But the next time I should be doing a proper live stream with other people will be hopefully when we do the DPDFF meetup. Okay, so thanks to everyone who is there. Thanks to everyone who watches in the future. Good and night. I will see you around. Eh, eh, eh. Whoop. Eh. Oh. Uh, 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 uh,